Discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am home and I've been on the road for the past couple weeks. I've been filming for not only this channel, but my camping channel behind the mountains. So between the two, I've been filming a lot of content, some of which you guys will see here in the next couple weeks. A lot of reviews, a few hunts, and so I'm excited to share that with you guys. In this video, I'm just going to talk a little about the new American Air Arms Evil standard that I recently picked up. This is a gun that I'm not a stranger to and I actually used in the Air Gun Survival Challenge. It got beat up pretty hard. There at the end, Tom ended up kind of rebuilding it and I gave it away as a raffle prize at the Extreme Bench Rest in Arizona. And I was pretty sorry to see this gun go. I really enjoyed it. It was a good shooter. It shot the Daystate Howler slugs extremely well. And I would use it to hunt jackrabbits and ground squirrels out to 150 yards very easily. You know, it is a gun that's long range capable. And so I was real excited to get my hands on the new version. And so Tom put this together for me. I went out on one of my large permissions and was able to use it over two days. I only filmed one of the days. You know, I, I felt like I kind of needed a little bit of a break. And so it was nice to get out with my friends, set up camp, and really kind of enjoy a day to myself without having to lug around the camera. Tom had brought his American field target that he had set out to 100 yards that we were able to use to practice on. Now I pack a lot of stuff in my vehicle. A lot of times I'm constantly unloading and loading. And from time to time, you know, I forget things. And one of the things I'd wanted to bring was slugs. And of course I had forgotten them. And so I, I showed up to this big permission out in the middle of nowhere with pellets. I had the 18 green JSBs and I had 25 green redesigns. This location is usually pretty windy and I was able to set this up pretty well with the 25 green redesigns, which I've had good experience in the past using in windy conditions doesn't shoot them as well as the howlers. The slugs are just a little more predictable and I don't have to hold off as much for the wind. Um, so it does take a little bit more work um, to get your shots right. You have to be a little more specific with your range and there's a lot more drop and a lot more wind drift than I'm comfortable with past 100 yards. And so I knew I was gonna have to keep my shots within that. Now we went out on one of my larger permissions, which is just over 500 acres. Um, this place has a lot of rock outcroppings. It's got a lot of oak trees and it's the perfect habitat for the ground squirrels. They really like um, this habitat, they like burrowing underneath around the oak trees, the rocks. Um, on warm days, you'll see them sunning themselves. And so it makes just a really fun place to hike around and hunt. It's not really like a lot of the farms. Um, it's more like trophy ground squirrel hunting. And typically early springtime, um, you're gonna see mostly the adults. And so I wasn't sure really what to expect because we hadn't been to this permission in a good couple years and we recently had a lot of rain. And so I was kind of expecting a lot of them to be still hunkered down is what I found to be kind of the case. This particular terrain has a lot of hills, so you're having to aim upwards, you're having to aim downwards, and with the, the wind, you know, it makes a lot of the shots um, a little bit more difficult. And so the key is really to try to get as close as you can 
We're not always perfect, but there's nothing wrong with trying to strive for that. For me, a lot of these trips are not really always about the hunting, and it's sometimes just about getting out, hiking around, just enjoying being outside, being with your friends. We had a really pretty area, a lot of green grass, a lot of pretty yellow flowers, and so it just really was a picturesque permission. Um, this is really not like pasting on a farm where you've got a lot of live targets. Um, this is more like trophy ground squirrel hunting. And so you're lucky, you know, if you get a good couple in a day, especially at this time of year, after we've had so much rain. I really did have a great couple days out in the field with my friends, getting to explore, do some camping, and that's really what it's about. You know, I need that for my mental health. You know, it's so important to be able to have time to get out and do those things. And I'm just trying to share that with you guys. We will get this gun out. I promise I will bring some slugs on the next trip. We'll do some target shooting. We'll do some hunting and we'll just try to have a little bit of fun. And I'll try to show you guys a little bit more about this gun, but I've really enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or as usual, you can always email me through my website at mountainsportairguns.com. Fill out the contact form and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure. Happy time? It is. Is it nappy time? Beep, 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 beep.